Hey guys, since this week, Alima Pure is having their, I don't know if it's annual or semi-annual, I don't know if they do this a couple times a year, how many times they do it, but they're doing their foundation sale, which means that all foundations, um, which currently they have two different formulas, they used to have a liquid formula, but I hear it's being um, reformulated. Currently they have got their loose, found the satin matte foundation, which is the loose foundation, and then they have their pressed foundation, and then their concealers, of which they also have two, are also 20% off this week. They do have a loose concealer and then a cream concealer. I am going to be doing a review and demo of the pressed foundation today. I do have a review and demo of the loose foundation up on my channel already. I will link it down below in case you have not watched that and you are interested in um, maybe seeing how each one applies. But today we're going to be talking about the pressed foundation, the differences between the pressed and the loose, um, and then I guess just you know, a good old, good old fashioned demo. So the main differences that I noticed between the two, I used the loose foundation for years before I tried the pressed foundation. Um, not really for any reason in particular other than I had other pressed foundations that I liked and I didn't think I really needed another one but I decided to give it a try anyway. The main difference between the press and the loose um, is gonna be obviously the number of ingredients. The ingredient list in the pressed foundation is obviously going to be higher because you have other ingredients in there that need to keep it you know, a solid compact formula. There's some other things in here that's not in the, the satin matte foundation, the loose. Um, so it's mica, rice powder, it has zinc, squalane, um, it does say it has Parfum, which is made from a proprietary blend of all natural essential oils. I have now used two pans of the pressed foundation. I have another shade. Um, I have a lighter shade in a different pan. Um, this is a second shade that I'm using over the summer. I haven't noticed a scent in either one, so I'm not really sure. I mean, Parfum is pretty high on the ingredient list, so it's. I, I feel like it's something that you should be able to smell, but I don't. Um, I don't know if anybody else has ever smelled, you know, the perfume in it, but I don't. Um, so it doesn't bother me. I know that that was a concern for a lot of people when it first came out was, you know, especially how high on the ingredient list it is, but I don't notice it at all. I, it smells like nothing to me. Um, so there's also sunflower oil, sunflower seed oil, there's argan, shea butter, evening primrose, rose hip, aloe, calendula, grape leaf extract, lavender oil, orange peel, chamomile, um, there is some water in the formula. Um, but yeah, citric acid, maltodextrin. Um, so it's, it's, it feels like it's formulated to be very soothing and like moisturizing so that way it's like not drying out. It does have like this velvety matte finish, at least in my opinion. It's not, um, it's not glowy, sort of like dewy like the satin matte foundation is. I feel like that one has a little bit more of like a glow factor to it, but this one, if to me, it's strictly matte, even though my skin shows through it. So what looks like dew on my skin, um, it's not the foundation, it's just my skin showing through, um, throwing through the foundation. It is a refillable formula as well. So you pop the, you know, you pop the, pop the pan out, which I can't do right now <laughs> for whatever reason. You pop the pan out and they do sell, you know, individual pans of the foundation as well, um, which I love. And I'm definitely going to be picking up a couple during this sale. A um, couple of my uh, summer shade because my summer shade and my winter shade are different. So for reference, I'm usually like a light neutral. Um, my winter shade is sesame and my current summer shade is nutmeg because I have gotten quite a bit of sun this summer, earlier in the summer, not so much recently, but earlier in the summer, I was out quite a lot. Um, so I have gotten a little bit of color on my skin. Usually I don't change shades because I tend to stay inside, but um, we did a lot of outside stuff this summer. We did, you know, the lake and lots of pool things and I was just outside a lot. <laughs> you know, we worked on our backyard. We got the backyard done, so we've been out there a lot. But um, so what we're gonna just do now is I'm gonna show you half of my face with the pressed foundation. I'll probably do this one with, this, with the pressed foundation. And then um, just so you can see the difference between the two. And my skin is, acting up a little bit today, so it'll really give you um, a good idea of what the coverage is. I love powder foundation for when I'm having troubled skin times. You know, I'm breaking out, I've got a lot of redness, I have, you know, scars or whatever, I just wanna cover it up. Powder foundation for me, I find is the best for that because 
It doesn't accentuate texture the way, for me, liquid foundation does or cream foundation does. It has a matte finish, so there's no accentuation of like pores or, you know, texture or whatever, like, like you would get with cream or liquid foundations. Um, powder foundations are really just, in my opinion, the best for people who have acne prone, troubled skin, um, because I just, for me, <laughs> Again, someone else might think that this is totally wrong, like you might have tried powder foundations and it didn't work for you, but for me, I find that for acne, it is the best formula because it makes my skin look the best. And it, it is what I wear 90% of the time, even when I do have really good skin because I love the coverage of this foundation, I love the the look. It, it does give just sort of like a natural look and it covers everything and the coverage is great. So. I'm gonna go ahead, I do use the Alima Pure foundation brush. I use the same brush for um, the pressed, the pressed and the loose. Um, and I do find that both give, I would say about the same amount of coverage. I think maybe like ease of use is the only, the only difference between you know, besides the ingredients, um, because the, the ingredients on the loose foundation are much, much less because it doesn't have all those extra oils and emulsifiers and, you know, things to keep it held together. You can see it evening out, evening out the skin tone. And I am gonna use the loose concealer today as well. I do prefer that over the cream concealer, just because again, I don't wear a lot of cream and liquid products and I like to wear you know, powder concealers when I'm wearing powder foundations. I don't really like to mix textures. Um, you know, when I use powder concealer, I don't really like to use, or when I use powder foundation, I don't really like to use liquid concealer. So. That is one side to the other. So you can see it covered up redness. It evened out the skin tone. You can still see my skin through it. So it doesn't look like flat, but it looks better. This is without obviously. I just love, I love the finish of this foundation. I love the way it makes my skin look. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the loose concealer. This will last you literally forever. I've been using the same pot. I think I did my other review um, for the loose foundation and concealer. I wanna say, it was like two years ago now. I think it was about two years ago. You'll see when you click on the video down below if you haven't watched it yet. Um, I'm still using the same pot of concealer and I use this concealer all the time. I might be, I might be about half done with it. So you need like the tiniest bit. So and there's around the eye area. And then for the concealer, I do also just go a little bit around the nose. Cause that's usually where I do have the most redness is around, you know, like my nose area. So I really love, I really love this foundation. Um, I am preferring it to the loose foundation. I'm gonna do another video at another time where I'm comparing the pressed and the loosed, and I will show you them, you know, side by side. Um, but lately, for the last year or so, I've been using strictly the pressed foundation just because I like it's just so much easier to use. The color matches me a lot better than my old loose formula did. I am gonna pick up another shade in the loose formula during the sale as well, just so I have like a loose one to do that, um, sort of like review comparing the two. Um, I mean, you really can't go wrong either way because the coverage with both is pretty much the same. I find that for me, the coverage is the same. It's just sort of like ease of use, you know? You just open, <laughs> you open the compact, you tap your brush in, you swirl, you close it, um, it's minimal mess. I don't mind loose products. You, got, you guys know I use a lot of loose products, especially all of the Alima Pure brushes and loose highlighters are some of my favorite things that I use and I use them um, more than a lot of other stuff that is that I have, but um, 
I just, I just, I don't know. I just like, I just like the pressed foundation. And I currently have no reason to open up a jar of the loose, except to do sort of like a comparison video, like I was just saying, because I definitely do want to do that. So it sort of completes the little Alima Pure series, you know, demo review of the loose foundation, demo review of the pressed foundation, and then comparing the press and the loosed. I want to say, I always want to say loosed. That's not a word. Pressed and the loose side by side so you can see the difference between the two. But like, did you see how fast it evens out the skin tone? You know, I press it on and then I sort of like buff it in, in certain areas, depending on, uh, you know, what my skin looks like. So then we're gonna go back in with the concealer under the eyes. Around this sort of area too. So you can see, you can still see like the texture of, you know, the acne that I had right there. Cause unfortunately it's in just like a very bad spot, <laughs> um, but it covers up the color enough. I know it looks like I have a, there's a shadow there, which makes it harder to tell, but it covers up the color, obviously not the texture. It covers it up enough that it makes me happy. And I don't really have anything else that I could show you. Sort of like bigger acne or anything that I could show you this on like a big zit or something. Maybe my chin is a little bit redder. Kind of an awkward spot. <laughs> All right, so I'll throw up a little before on the screen so you can see the real difference between before and after. I mean, I feel like to me, with my skin, it's pretty dramatic, the difference, because I have a lot of discoloration, I have a lot of hyperpigmentation, acne, redness, the whole nine yards, I have it all. And I love the way this makes my skin look. I love the way it makes my skin feel. I don't know if this is like a thing that people are worried about with powder foundations, but it doesn't dry out my skin. Um, you know, I don't notice it like clinging to dry patches or it causing dry patches. You know, it doesn't cause me to have dry skin. Um, and you know, sometimes I do get a little bit like shiny, but that's just because I of my skin type. I am a little bit more oily sometimes. Depending on the day, depending on what I'm doing, um, you know, my sort of oils can sort of show through a little bit more on some days than others. But it does, it sort of gives you that like velvety matte finish. Beautiful. And yeah, like whatever shine is coming through is just from my skin. It's not from the foundation itself. I just have like very shiny skin. Maybe it's the moisturizer I use, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's really it for this video. I mean, this is very uncomplicated. There's not much more to talk about because the, the results sort of speak for themselves. You know, you saw my skin before, you see it after. You saw it happen in real time. It just really nicely evens out the skin tone. It really makes my skin feel and look great. Um, this is my favorite powder foundation. I mean, I do also love the Clove and Hollow one. That is one that I've demoed and done a review of before, but I can't even remember the last time I picked that one up because I love the Alima Pure Foundation um, formula so much because it's it just looks so natural. The color matches me really, really great. So that is everything that I've got for this video. Again, if you have not checked out the loose foundation review and demo, um, go ahead and click the video down below because that one is also a really great one. That one will take you to that video, obviously, and then you can see how the loose looks. And then um, I probably won't be able to get it up before the sale is over, but at some point I will do a review um, press pressed versus loose of the Alima Pure Foundation so you can sort of see them different on the skin so you can tell 
if they really are that dramatic of a difference, if maybe you like one over the other or you want to try one over the other. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm glad that I finally put it together. Not that it was difficult. <laughs> Just sometimes you have ideas and then you, you know, don't do them when you want to, but the sale is still going on at least through this week. So I wanted to make sure that you guys were able to grab a foundation if you liked and maybe you wanted a more formal review on the pressed foundation. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.